Peter Loshek, we are talking about topics of interest in the NBA right now with Jordan Sharp, regular uh, SBR contributor. It is December 5th, so we're looking ahead at uh, for the odds for the, for the title that are out on the market right now and uh, what we might be seeing from some of these teams for the rest of December. Jordan, now we're going to take a look at, uh, we have some topics here to discuss for the Western Conference. First one, what is the Lakers panic meter at? I don't know. I mean, they seem like they, they never panic, but maybe they should. I think the panic meter should be raised just a little bit because of their recent play. I don't think, as you know, I've said, we don't really need to start panicking yet until the new year. However, the Lakers are, are a little bit more panicked right now because of the injuries to Steve Nash and the fact that they aren't taking to Mike D'Antoni's system as fast as some people may like. Now, obviously, those things take time. However, it is a little bit cause for concern. I'd say if we're going to put it in a 1 to 10 range, it should be sitting around a 4 right now. No, yeah. Nothing to be really concerned about, but you definitely need to start being concerned if you weren't already. And I would like to point out to viewers that uh, we did a preseason uh, NBA general preview with NBA Choice at the beginning of the year, and he identified the Lakers as a likely very good bet against in the first few months. That has obviously turned out to be very, very true. All right, next topic. Are the Grizzlies title contenders? Right now their odds are 12 to 1. No way. 12 to 1, that's way too low. Uh, Pete, I, 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 I agree with you right now. But if their play continues the way they've been playing, especially with their big guys again, now that they have both Marcus Gasol and Zach Randolph back healthy and playing at a high level, they are very, very dangerous out West. Um, we're going to go into it with the next topic a little bit more, but the West is going to be a wild card this year, and I don't think there is anybody emerging as a clear-cut favorite right now. So I think the Grizzlies should be considered as a as a favorite, one of the favorites, at least one of the three favorites that could win the Western Conference. Okay, I mean, I do partially agree with you. I think that the Grizzlies might be a great bet against the spread in the coming months, and especially betting over on their team totals and unders on opposing team totals. I just don't think that they're a conference title contenders, NBA title contenders at the moment. The next topic is who should be the West favorite at this point in the season? Obviously, OKC. Oklahoma City has to be considered a favorite, but I'm not sold yet that they should be a clear number one favorite by a whole lot. As I, you know, I've said before, the West is going to be really a wild card this year. And what I mean by that is, with of all the, of which whichever eight teams make it, and whatever order they're made up in, probably going to be Oklahoma City as number one. It looks like either them, the Grizzlies, or the Spurs at this point might be in that hunt for that number one, number two spots. But it doesn't matter what the matchup is. Everyone's going to be beatable, whether it's the one versus eight matchup or the four versus five matchup. I really feel like the Western Conference is going to have some a la NCAA basketball tournament style play because among the eight best teams in the West, they're all capable of beating each other on any given night. So I think the Thunder are the clear favorites, but after that, who knows? Okay, next topic. Are the Warriors playoff ready? They are currently fifth in the West. I say, I mean, no, they'll probably make the playoffs, but no way do they get out of the first round. The Grizzlies, the Thunder, the Spurs, the Clippers, no way do they beat any of those teams in the first round. You're absolutely right, Pete. However, their, their key is Andrew Bogut and whether he can come back and play significant minutes. If he can come back and play significant minutes and at least give them the ability, a, a big guy who has skilled on offense and defense, to give them 25 to 28 minutes in the playoffs, he could be able, they could be able to upset an Oklahoma City or a Memphis or a San Antonio, whoever gets that top spot. So while I'm ready to say that, yes, I think they will make the playoffs, maybe sneak into that eighth or seventh seed, I, I will say this, that if unless they have Andrew Bogut there, yeah, you're right, they're not getting out of the first round. Okay, and the final topic for the West, what are some value and or surprise future odds uh, picks out of the West right now at the moment, in your opinion? Jordan Sharp. I really like right now, I am ready to say, and Pete, you'll remember us talking about this last year in the playoffs, right before the Spurs demolished the Clippers. I said that the Clippers are a fade the rest of the playoffs. Mm -hmm. And right now, I'm saying that the Clippers at 10-1 to 1 have pretty you know, the best odds you're going to get them as potential to win the NBA championship. I think they have that kind of potential with Chauncey Billups coming back. And if they can get all their veterans back, they have the deepest team in the Western Conference. And right now, with the West being so wide open, they could emerge as one of those top three teams right now. I think they're sitting at fourth right now. And at 10-1, to 1, I think they're go they go nowhere but up from here. I also think that... If you want to, if you're if you're a gambling type of guy, I think the Houston Rockets with uh, with um, James Harden now are a pretty good bet. You could probably get them at about forty or forty five to one to be in the Western Conference Finals or win the Western Conference. And also the Nuggets at forty to one to win the title. They have the talent to do it. 
if they're not coming together at all, but they can obviously their their ability to score a lot of points every night is obviously going to put them in any game if they make it to the playoffs. All right, maybe those three teams are also uh, teams that we might expect to be uh, positive EV against their spreads in general over a two or three month span from here on out. I think with the exception of the Rockets, because the Rockets are getting a lot of hype right yeah. now with James Harden. Obviously, they were a great bet last night against the Lakers, but um, it, it, I think they're they're going to be the one team that's going to be overhyped. But I, well, the other two, the Clippers and the, uh, and the Nuggets, I agree with you. I think they're going to have great value here going here early in the season. Okay, great insights. Thanks once again, Jordan Sharp. We'll talk to you again very soon.